a hero that's solo all and a uh, wolf. Alright, getting things started at PS2. We'll be already looking at his menu. Looking to get some space, charge up that frizz, but LRA Start not letting him. LRA Start is keeping this very close right now in terms of spacing. You know, really just doesn't want BB to have space to do anything. But there we go. The, um, the Zap is going to be getting VV some space and a little bit of a lead right now. I'm surprised he's going for Hocus Pocus because most player, people don't like to play Risky with Hocus Pocus or uh, any of those like 15 moves that can randomly get give for you. But right now, again, like you said, Other Star is not letting Vivi get any space off uh, for himself to get up those oof, those psych up, those SL auto buffs. Thankfully not getting quite killed yet, but at 180% anything's possible with that Wolf Force now she up. Great spacing by LRA Star. Honestly, I believe Vivi, you know, going for Hocus Pocus. I feel like that's in character. I feel like with how many thwacks and things we've seen, Vivi seems like a crowd pleaser type of hero. So I feel like Hocus Pocus is really in that same sort of vein. Hocus Pocus is, is absolutely is, because sometimes he gets really big, sometimes he gets really small, he gets poisoned, he gets slowed, he gets a flower on his face. It's, it's a lot of good stuff. He gets, you know, invincibility for about like 10 seconds. Sometimes you just get kamikaze and... Or kamikaze like I do, and I never do Hocus Pocus, because uh, Hocus Pocus <laughs> is awful <laughs> and mean. And Elder is actually going to be able to save V because that, oh, okay, you know what, I'm funny. Um, he won't, because at first that Kasus would not have let VV get back on stage, but hitting VV and would reset, uh, you know, Kasus. But, you know, Elder Star said, watch this down smash, or this down, uh, this down air. Which he's been hitting a lot recently. He has. He hit it with John Numbers earlier uh, in, in, uh, in, pool, in uh, quarters. Oh, right now, VB getting a good lead on the uh, Ray Star, but he's still at one per at one stock, one percent, <laughs> at one stock. Not oh, the the clanging those two moves together, back throw. Surprisingly, go for that whack. He, that he was over and over it. He definitely was. Ray Star has just not been letting VB touch the ground there. Zoom though, going to be getting him a free ride back to the platform. Just barely missing that Zapple. Back throw? No forward throw. Yep, looking to set Vivi back up at the ledge. Ooh, he had a bunch of sword moves in that v uh, menu. Beautiful. But there we go. Catching, uh, catching LRA start snoozing. But Vivi at 130. He does have quite a few buffs oh. on him, but none of them are going to save him from that wolf back air. Wolf back air is kind of nasty. Out here, they are banning Yoshi's story, and they're banning uh, Battlefield, which they're probably going to go back to PS2. Realistically. Oh, they're not. They're gonna go over to Small Battlefield, pick some music, some good music. Let me judge them real fast. Tekken, all right. I respect all right, that's it. Good. That's I respect good. it. All the bangers. Picked Rainbow Cruise. Did they know? Did they just pick Rainbow Cruise? Okay, thank God. <laughs> Honestly, I was lamenting uh, earlier on one of the uh, the other tourney setups because uh, you know some of the songs you have to unlock by going into the shop. Yeah. And a lot of my a lot of my like power up songs are in that shop and a lot of the turning setups just don't have them. <laughs> like, I mean, I get it. Like I get why. Yeah. It's no one cares. It's no one like, it's, like, it's a lot worse. X versus Zero and Yell Dead Cell. Oh, Vivi going into the Lucario against Wolf matchup might likely something much uh, better for him because he's able to get a little more closer and not have to rely on getting uh, distance away from Elevate Star to Wolf. Yeah, yeah, no, Vivi's Lucario is, you know, as much of a threat up close, if not more so, than his hero. Because, uh, you know, he has that aura sphere and is just able to really pressure your shield. Absolutely. And we're now getting a, a look. It's a complete 180 from the first round where Vivi is now able to take control of center stage and completely demolish other Star's first stock. If it's just because now he's at 75%, he's actually a character now and he's actually playable. That extreme speed. Alright, LRA Spark just. Uh, Great timing, Mission, and not the case by Wolf Down Smash. Able to dash attack that extreme speed. Uh, but Vivi had kind of an awkward angle right there. Barely missing Aura Sphere, getting hit by that Spore Smash, and... Nah. That was a great... Vivi's extreme speeds are so mm -hmm. good. That was a great bonk on the side of small, the small battlefield main platform. Oh, that, that was bold. That would have done a, a lot of damage had that uh, connected. 
Oh, the right dash attack though. Finally gonna be taking Vivi's first stock. Aura is now off the table. Only 31% off of LRA start coming into the second stock. If you have to be careful with these LRA start, you know, combo starters can easily pick up a bunch of damage, which he just did. Now Vivi's at 40%, basically even with LRA start, has come in with his own melee attacks and can't get hit by that wolf down B again, down uh, smash again. And <laughs> LRA start using that backer as much as he could. Where he starts just dash attacking around, looking to catch Vivi on this uh, on the main platform. Both players kind of scurrying around each other. V LA start having amazing, once again, amazing spacing, making sure he's not getting hit by Aura Sphere at all. Vivi charging up Aura Sphere. Now he has, you know, Rage or has Aura. And he is now a dangerous opponent. Can easily kill with uh, LA start at this percentage. Absolutely. Ooh, just oh, running great. into him with the extreme speed. Again, great control, extreme speed, making sure he, he's able to hit uh, LRA Star and get a good, yup, there it is, Ooh, goodbye. Yeah, you can't punish extreme speed nope. like that. Uh, and VV is going to be getting the Force Palm. LRA Star's second stock. Now VV has all the aura in the world to work with and getting the up throw combo, just two hits, 33%. Aura straight getting can completely canceled by Wolf back air. And yep, goodbye. Same with VV's stock. Same with, yeah, absolutely. This is a strong, like, I mean, he was at high percentage, of course, and Wolf back air is something similar to, like, Falco's, where it's just completely devastating to use, and Wolf mains know that, and it's a really good move to use against his opponents. But right now, Vivi taking up a 56%, 65% over on LRA start, use, make sure he's able to stay on the ledge, possibly trying to get a little bit of an aura sphere, trying to edge guard him, gain that jump read, and... Okay. Over on the other side of the ledge, but LRA started taking his own time to make sure he has control of center stage and using his own ledge guarding uh, tactics. And this is where we've been seeing LRA start shine so far is when uh, Vivi's been at the ledge, but Vivi is able to make it back to center stage. Now pushing LRA start to the edge. Oh, oh. he's barely missing the force bomb. Force bomb the wrong direction and caught a down smash for his troubles. Oh, but a point blank Not wolf blaster is going to net Vivi a pretty big punish, only an 80% uh, force bomb shines his way out of the combo. Oh, he's in a very dangerous position. Vivi is now, like, you know, Lucar is dangerous, even at higher than she is. And, Dash wow! Attack. Oh, no. Oh, he that able to speed. catch that extreme speed, though. Oh, Great my God! Two-frame two down smash. That was just an F-till. That's all it that takes. That was F-till? Yeah. That's, that's foul. That's actually foul. That F tilt is huge. Yeah, punishing the extreme speed. Oh yeah, that it that was F tilt. Mm -hmm. <gasps> You're nasty. <laughs> You're Insane nasty. Same timing by LRA Star. I thought it was down smash only because it was the first. Like, I thought it was the first side that I got hit, mm -hmm. but no, that was just straight up F tilt. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So great play by LRA Star, making his way through both VB's hero and Lucario. No small feat indeed. Not at all. I mean, honestly, good on Vivi for changing to Lucario because there was definitely a difference in that matchup because now there was more melee uh, involved rather than having to re hero has to re rely on camping and getting his belt before he can actually, you know, play the game. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, up next we do have Tilde and Dill, uh, you know, Falco and, and Rob, and we're definitely going to have a button check. So now we can, you know, talk about Gorgeous again. No, I'm kidding! <laughs> No, but again, very good step from both players. Vivi has to fight his way through uh, fight losers this time. And he has to go against John Numbers. Kind of